Welcome back, 941. The COVID-19 uh, virus is spreading right now widespread, and fear and stress is also spreading. But there is a way that you can push through with mental toughness. And joining us live this morning with some tips is mental toughness expert and former Marine Eric Rittmeyer. Sorry about all the crazy confusion earlier. We were supposed to have a different guest, and they popped you up instead. But I was always happy to see your face. Good to see you, Eric. Likewise, Amy. I'm used to confusion. I have two teenage kids, so confusion oh, yeah. is my. I'm 101. We are in the same world, my friend. We are in the same world. All right, so let's talk first about how you can explain the facts sort of to yourself and to your family because it's really important that we are in touch with what's going on inside of our head. Yeah, you're absolutely right, Amy. I think what's critically important to point out here is what we're asking people to do. And when we talk about social distancing, what we're really talking about is physical distancing. And we're asking people to basically suppress something that we're evolutionarily hardwired to do, which is connect. And when we tell people we can't touch and feel and spend time with, it can really wreak havoc on our emotions. So we have to look at this trying to preserve our health from the physical point, but we also have to look long term about emotional health because this can put people into a downward spiral. Absolutely. All right, so, so it's important, one, that we reach out to people, right, that we are worried that might be alone, maybe don't, don't have somebody checking on them. What types of things should we be asking? Yeah, so you bring up a good point. So, you know, we have to understand that not everybody entered into this crisis on the same level of mental clarity. So where I am mentally might be different than where you are. Some people might have already been suffering from types of isolation and loneliness. This can really exacerbate that. Other people might have been teetering. They were okay, but this could be what really pushes them over the edge. We have to be hypersensitive to our older people, like our grandparents, who might be suffering from chronic illness. They can't pick up a phone and, and talk, maybe because they have hearing issues. And we also have to be very aware of our children. They're going through a scary time right now. Absolutely. What message do you want to give to parents when they're talking to their kids about what's happening? Is too much information a bad thing? I, I would I would agree with it. And yes, I say we have to talk to their level. We're not going to address we're not going to address things with a five-year-old the same way we're going to address them with a 15-year-old. We have to allow them to ask their questions. We need to answer them, but then stop. Let them follow up with their questions. We don't have to explain quantum physics to them if they don't need to know that. Eric, how does helping others during a trying time like this make a difference for us mentally? It's huge. I mean, it's our altruistic duty to look out for our neighbors. And I tell you, the silver lining in all this, Amy, I believe, we're going to come out on the other end of this realizing how important our relationships are. I'm hoping it's going to maybe help out with some of those strained relationships we have. Just to get back to the core basics of love our neighbor, kuna matata. You know, no worries. Everybody loves each other. Let's just love our neighbor. You know, Eric, I think for anybody right now who is gainfully employed and healthy, now is really the time to do maybe some of those things uh, that you you haven't done in the past, right? To, to maybe drop by the food bank and drop off a bag of groceries that you have extra at the house. Anything like that can really help you. You're, you're absolutely right. And again, the key is to go back to our roots, Amy. We're innately hardwired to love each other, to care for each other. This is our factory reset. You know, your computer locks up, you're not getting emails, all the windows lock up, you replug, you reboot, you start over from scratch. This is our opportunity as a nation to start from scratch, to get back to looking out for each other, to understand we're all a common thread here. We all have the same psychological needs. Let's just care for each other. Absolutely. Eric, I know you've written a book about this, Mental Toughness. How can people find it? Yeah, the emotional marine. Thank you. It's on my website, mentaltoughnessspeaker.com. It's all about how to be more likable and just how to get people to really care for each other and, and get back to 101 again. I love it. Good stuff. Always great to talk to you, Eric. Thanks for coming back to see us. Likewise, Amy. Good seeing you. Take care. Thank you. 945. Let's talk to what Jamie about what's happening outside.